quick tidbit before this video starts, I want to stress I want Merkley to become an incredible NHL player. I want him to become amazing. I know he has the potential to be amazing, but the things that we talk about in this video are gonna be some of those hurdles that he'll need to get over. So without further ado, let's actually go into this discussion, because this is a crazy story. If you've been a fan of NHL prospects, you know who this player is. We're talking about Ryan Merkley today, the San Jose Sharks' first round pick in the 2018 NHL entry draft. He was drafted pretty late into the first round, 21st overall, despite having over a point per game in the OHL as a defenseman in his draft year. He's been touted as a player with immense skill, and a lot of people were labeling Merkley as a top 10 talent in the 2018 NHL entry draft just based off of skill alone. However, he dropped down to 21 because of issues that people were mostly aware of. In particular, things like attitude, work ethic, defensive zone coverage, these were all things that limited Merkley from being a super highly touted prospect in the 2018 draft. Well, he just finished up his draft plus one year. He got traded from the Guelph Storm to the Peterborough Peets, and overall in his draft plus one year, he had 71 points in 63 games, which as a defenseman is crazy, crazy good. He's a right-handed defenseman, offensively talented, gifted, so much skill, dynamic skating, and an offensive tool set that allows him to dominate. But playing for the Peterborough Peets, and coming into next season, the Peets actually left him off of their training camp roster. And this came as a surprise to some people, but let's read over a series of OHL Insiders tweets here to actually get into why this happened. The Peets are working to move San Jose Sharks first round prospect defenseman Merkley. They don't want to start the season with him and are talking to a few teams. And right away, after this tweet was posted, people were saying, okay, I think we kind of know why. Quick Merkley update, the Sharks first rounder texted his teammates wishing them luck and that he was told not to bother coming back to Peterborough while they try to find him a new home. I don't think any team at this point takes a chance on Merkley just based on positional need. I think the Peets need to get a fairly inexperienced general manager to bite here, or Merkley will end up out of our league. Semi-pro is not an option. The reputation for Ryan Merkley among other OHL GMs is horrendous. They're trying to trade this player, but they can't. Not because he's not good, but because nobody wants him. Let's scroll down a little bit over to some of the replies to this tweet. What's the problem with Merkley, Piggy's brain says. Does he have a difficult personality? Then the big response here goes in depth. He has a reputation of being uncoachable. He puts himself ahead of the team. I saw him play a lot once he was traded to Peterborough as I'm an Oshawa season ticket holder, and he appeared to be a head case. Lots of yelling at his team, breaking sticks, giving up, etc. Take a look at this reply to this tweet. So he's still breaking sticks, eh? He used to do that a lot as a member of the Guelph Storm, and would get benched for it. He won't last five minutes as a pro if he doesn't fix his attitude fast. Now, devil's advocate to this, I will say that Merkley has been invited to the San Jose Sharks training camp as well. As a result, he will not be with the Peterborough Peets. However, that does not dismiss the tweets here from OHL Insiders talking about how the Peets just don't want Merkley on their team in general and are looking to trade him. The fact that Merkley is with San Jose as well is also a good sign, because that locker room is touted as a mature locker room, one that's dealt with quote-unquote problematic personalities in the past, i.e. Evander Kane. He used to have that narrative around him, but now he's been fine. So there's definitely that room for improvement in the San Jose locker room. However, that does not excuse the issues from the past too, even with the Guelph Storm. The Guelph Storm traded Merkley back when he was one of their best offensive defenders, and he was probably one of their best offensive guys in general. As a result, they went to the Memorial Cup. 
not to mention Ryan Merkley's history of Guelph storm-related incidents in the past too, arguing with the referees, getting suspensions, getting healthy scratched for issues with his attitude, it hasn't been the cleanest track record throughout his OHL career. And in Peterborough, that didn't change. And on top of all of this, the one consistent thing throughout Merkley's game, aside from his offensive skill, has been his defensive lack of awareness. There's so many times watching Ryan Merkley highlights and clips where in the defensive zone he's just standing there. There are some quotes where he's defending two-on-ones and he's not moving the stick or moving the body or anything, he's just gliding backwards. There are clips of him just standing in the defensive zone while the other team cycles it, not getting engaged in the play. The fact of the matter is here, when Merkley is in the D-zone, he is not nearly as intense and he's not nearly as engaged in the game as when he's in the offensive zone. He comes alive in the O-zone, but in the D-zone he's not really doing anything. Hopefully he is able to get his head on straight and actually become effective in a positive way for a team because he's got legit top two potential. Like he's got an incredibly good skill set. But until he fixes everything else around that, there's no opportunity for him to go further with his skill set. And I hope he's able to find it right. Hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.